Hey everybody and welcome to the first of several videos I'm going to be making and I will be covering all of the tools in Photoshop. The first tool we are going to be covering is the move tool. The move tool has a little cursor and a crosshair next to it and if your tool column does not look like this there's a double sided or a double arrow up here at the top of the tool column if you click that it'll turn it into a single column or a double column so if we hold our cursor over the move tool it will tell us that it's a move tool and it has a V in parentheses next to it the V is the shortcut key on your keyboard so if I'm using a different tool I just have to hit the V key and it will automatically take me back to the move tool so the first thing the move tool can do is I'm just going to create an object in this blank document so that we can work with it. The first thing a move tool can do is I can move this anywhere on the page I want if I just hold the move tool over it and click and drag. So you can place it anywhere you want. Um, also, if you see these boxes on the outside edge of this, or if you don't see them, make sure that this show transform controls box is checked. If it's not checked, you can't see them. So make sure it's checked. Now what these boxes do is they let you resize this object or image that you're working with. So if I click on one of the nodes that are on the side, you know, it makes it short or on the left side or right side, it's going to make it skinny or fat. And if I do one of the corner nodes you can move both corner or both sides at the same time now if I want to keep this object that I'm working with proportional or the same size that it is when I create it I can hold down shift and move this corner box and it will keep this in a perfect circle or square or whatever image you're using it will keep it in the perfect proportions that it's in that way it doesn't go long or skinny you notice when I let off the shift key it changes so that's pretty useful um, another thing that it can do is if you look in the center of your object you can see that you have this little target right here and it can move around now if you go up here outside of one of the nodes you can see this double sided arched arrow up here now if I click and hold down it can rotate this object in any direction I want it to and it rotates it around this little target that's inside your object now if I move this up here to a corner and then I go back out here and rotate it it's gonna move your object around that point right there instead of it being in the center that's pretty cool too um, another thing that the move tool can do is if I'm working with two documents and say I created a logo or some kind of design in this separate document and now I want to move that design into whatever I'm working on if I just click and drag that object over into the new document and let go it will automatically duplicate it and it is now in our second document so let me get rid of that um, so I showed you what the show transform controls do I usually always have that box checked because whenever you're designing something or you're working with something you generally always want to see you know those nodes that way at any time you can sit there and adjust the size or just kinda know where its boundaries are now also up here there's the auto select feature and if you select it um, in order to show you what it does I'm gonna create another object in here uh, so we'll make a square so if you have the auto select feature selected then if you see right now I have the square selected and I can move it around now I can just go down here and I click on the circle and it selects the circle and I can move it around if I don't have the auto select feature selected I can move the circle around but if I go and click on the square to try and move it around I'm still moving the circle around even though I'm not on it now in order to move this square around without the auto select feature checked if you're on a Mac you can hold down command or if you're on a PC you can hold down control so 
if I hold that down and then I click on this square, I can quickly change between each object in my document. So command on a Mac or control on a PC. And one other way to move about your different objects is over here on your right side in this you know little work bar over here you have your layers and you can click on your different layers and you see that it selected my square I go to this layer and it selects my circle so I usually don't have the auto select box checked because if you're working on a document and you have a thousand different objects in it that you're working with you don't accidentally want to click on one and be moving it around and not know and be you know messing up your work that you just spent hours trying to perfect um, that is pretty much all the uses for the move tool um, if this video is helpful favorite it or subscribe to my page and I will be making more tutorials on all of the other tools so check them out